everyone, it's JK Jigs Metal Chat. Hope you're all well and welcome to episode 30 of my Metal Vault, where I will be exploring and showing you my favorite albums within heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, black metal, doom metal, sludge metal, folk metal, you name it, all that excellent stuff. And I had another absolute banner on my last episode. Well, for this one, oh, guaranteed a fucking excellent album here. I mean, a phenomenal album, absolutely phenomenal, from a band that formed in 1983 in San Francisco, California. Been playing this heavy style of music for... 41 years now, and it's that ridiculous how long they've been going for. You know these guys if you are a long-time fan of metal. If you're, if you're a newcomer, welcome to my channel and to this series. And here's a new band for you to check out. I am talking about Possessed. And now, with Possessed, like with Master and Death, one of the earliest death metal bands. And, you know, considered one of the first death metal bands ever. Pretty much hailed as the godfathers of death metal. Pretty much from what I read from the Metallum page. Of course, I got that up as I will be talking about the band themselves and... The demos leading up to this monstrous, monstrous debut. And of course, I am talking about their 1985 debut. Seven Churches. And this album is just monumental within the genre of death metal. And, you know, and it's a very thrashy record as well. Very thrash, but. Like I said, they are considered one of the godfathers of death metal. But if I'm going to pick earlier death metal bands, these guys, Death, Master. But they all still had that element of thrash earlier on, but then developed along the way. Here we got the back. I also have this on CD, but I thought, well, let's get the vinyl. As you can see, the logo and the album title all on a big cover. Of course, we've got the guys in the back. Where's the man himself? There's Jeff. Of course, been the longest running member of Possessed since the early days. This is a gatefold, by the way. Guess you get this. Lyrics. And another band picture. And I believe... No, I think there was some lyric sheets in there. No, it's the vinyl, but let's get a quick look at the vinyl. As you can see, the logo right there on the vinyl. Absolutely phenomenal album. Monumental to the early extremes of metal, you know, thrash and death metal. And, you know, it's just, man. Right, let's talk about Possessed before I talk about this album in its entirety. Again, they formed in 1983. They did split up in 1987, reformed in 1990 to 1993, and have been and then reformed in 2007 and been going since then. You know, because a lot of you will know this, a lot of you won't. But Jeff in, in 1989 was shot in a robbery, he was left paralyzed. And, of course, that would be devastating to anyone in that position. I can only imagine. But he did not let that stop him. He came back and got just kicking ass. Just continuously kicking ass. Of course, 2019, they released their last album. The last album they released, Revolutions of Oblivion. And... One of my favourites of that year. 
But yeah, Jess Vocals, still top notch. On here, all oh, their fiercer, dark, it's heavy, and oof. Oof. Right, right, so let's crack on with the history of the band. Like I said, been going since 1983, so they did start this music 41 years ago. And if I remember correctly, I found an article about Jeff. He wrote one of the songs, and I think it was... Uh, which one did he write back in the day? I think it was either Evil Warriors or... It might have been Burning in Hell. I can't remember which one in the article. If you can find it, let me know. But uh, he wrote one of them back in 79. So you only have like one of the songs already written. But anyway. Right, first demo. From 1984. That is called Death Metal. And of course, it is on this track. Three of the tracks from that demo will appear later on this one. And of course, the lineup was Jeff I, I can never. Fit, I don't know if I'm ever saying his last name right. It's Pacera, Jeff Pacera. I just said that wrong. Brian Montana, Mike Truro, Truro, and Mike Seuss. And I think no, it's not Mike Seuss. It's the other Mike who went on to join the band. Is I think it's him. Because one of them went on to join Primus, and I believe that was Brian. Well, I know one of them did, so. Or oh, it might have been one of the members that was on Seven Churches. No, that's sorry. Can I correct myself? It was Larry. Who, Larry on this one. Larry, where was he? Yep, found him. Not even going to try and say his last name. But, um,. Yeah, he went on to, I think, yeah, form Primus or join Primus. can't remember which. But before we carry on with the album, the last demo they did before this one was just demo 1985 from 1985, which had Fallen Angels, Swing of the Axe, and Death Metal. When I think the song for Swing of the Axe, I obviously think Power Trip, the song Executionist Tax, Swing of the Axe from Nightmare Logic. That's what I think anyway when I see that. And then that brings us on to the album in question. Seven Churches. It's a it's a dark, evil album. Especially when it starts off with the Exorcist. You know, the Exorcist theme opening up, opening up, and then it just goes into that orchestra orchestra part where it gets that dark gothic sound. Gothic sound in orchestra part, and then straight in with the guitars, the bass, the drums, everything, and then just vocals come in, and then that leads all the way to Pentagram, Burning in Hell, Evil Warriors, Seven Churches, the title track, all phenomenal album, phenomenal songs, Satan's Curse, Holy Hell, Twisted Minds, Fallen Angel, and finally the song that got me into the band and got me to listen to this album what to find out about this album and the band in general was death metal and that is a cracking song that and it's been one of my favorites from the album obviously i heard the exorcist and then of course the song pentagram just everything about this album you know screams those early days of death metal like i said it's still a very thrashy album like with um, Scream Bloody Gore by Death. And cheers, I got a coffee this morning. As it's it's Thursday morning, this will be out tomorrow. So if you're wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering because I'm going out tonight. So hence why I am covering this beast today. Love this, love this album. Ever since I heard it the first time, found out about this band, and then finally got to see him back in 2017 at Bloodstock. I was in the circle, but you can easily find me in on the video. So there's one point where I'm just looking at all the all the guy, like pretty much everyone in that circle, but just pretty much just running around, just having a great time. 
And let's also briefly mention the two other releases of the second album, Beyond the Gates, will be covered. And uh, EP, The Eyes of Horror, of course, that was the last thing they did before they split up in, in 87. And of course, what I mentioned earlier on, don't want to repeat it again. But, um, but yeah, but like I said, I didn't stop Jeff from coming back with a vengeance and just making a phenomenal album in 2019. But it all started with this, this debut. You know, there's a lot of albums that came out the same year as this, one of them being Bonded by Blood by The Mighty Exodus. Love that band. Very many more albums of Slayers, Hell Waits, and... Got this. Oh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head now, but it was, at least I got two out of the way. Um, I'll probably think of, think of more later on, but anyway, you know, and this has just been one of them, and my absolute favorite from that year. I'm gonna show you the back again, or uh, you know, all got their own little pictures there. So there's Mike up there with the Marshall and. His own guitar. I'm trying to think which guitar it is. I can't see the top of the neck, so I can't tell you. Of course, we've got Mike on the drums. You know, drums thing in his mouth and just being all like, yeah, come on. Uh, let's get Larry there with amps and the guitar. And a bit of smoke covering half the guitar there. And, of course, Jeff with some smoke and the cross. And a bit of it on, yeah, a bit of it on fire. That's... You know, probably when people saw this, were like, oh, what? So, no, 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 what's going on here? But then, you know, you're a hardcore metalhead. Who loves this sort of stuff? You're like, that's for me, I'm getting it. And also, a fun fact as well, before I do my conclusions on the album, obviously that'll be a bit later, but I've got a lot more things to say before I get to that. If anyone remembers the film Trick or Treat from 1986, there was some albums I got shown in it. One of them was Megadeth's, um, I believe it's Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. But I'm just going to quickly get that up so I can remember. I think it was, yeah, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. Of course, that, that was their debut. But I do remember when I saw an image from that film before I even watched it, and I saw this sticking out of the collection. And I thought, possessed in a horror film, very fitting, very fitting. Of course, that has Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons in the film. But yeah, it was cool to see just this portion of the album sticking out. And people were like, possessed. The only reason I found out about that it was in that film, because I already heard about the band. Well, I saw the name pop up, and then I checked out the band, and then went back to that article, was because what the guy who was writing it about the film actually went to school with a couple of them, I think, with Jeff and Mike, I believe. Camping... I don't know that website's still up, but uh, either way... For any newcomers, this is definitely a extreme a, a early death metal record to check out. But like I said, it's very thrashy, so you can get you can say death thrash. You know, because it like I said, it's still a very thrashy record. It's still very thrashy with the guitars, the drums, but of course, jazz vocals a bit more harsher. So think like, you know. Another release, just figure I just remembered, but of course, is an EP in the sign of evil. I Sodom, you know, like the harsher vocals like you hear later from like German thrash metal bands. Obviously, again, mentioning Sodom and of course, Creator, just the name too. Um, Destruction as well, you know, of course, jazz vocals on that side of, side of the, the vocal range. 
of course, his vocals, like I said, they're phenomenal. On this one, on the second, on Beyond the Gates, on the Eyes of Horror EP, and of course, the last one, Revolutions of Oblivion. From uh, 2019. Just a just a phenomenal album. That oh I love I love all three, but if you want to start off early with with this band, then I suggest going for the debut here. Why do I say that? Because it's like I said, it's the start of that. It's start. It's pretty much like the early. St- start the early days of what would become death metal later on. And it's a timeless masterpiece. I'm always going to say that about all the albums that I got listed up here because after this one, I only got four more to cover until I get on to the next page. And everything I picked, I think are timeless classics. You may not think so yourself, but you know, you love those that early day of death metal and Again, you can call these guys death thrash because it is very thrashy still. This would definitely be for you. Let's show the back one more time. But uh, to conclude this whole thing before I finish off the video, because I'm going to probably say a lot, I'll probably repeat myself as I do, but there you go. It's a phenomenal album. It's just absolutely blasting from start to finish. The logo is awesome. You know, you know, a black cover with a logo on top. And I believe when this was first released, this wasn't actually on the album itself. Well, the picture I'm looking at, it doesn't have it. And then go on other versions. Okay, it was on yeah, on Combat Records. This one was re-released on Monumentum Records, which I will show you right there. Monumentum Records. But originally released on Combat Records, which also released Death Screen Bloody Gore. Now to conclude, one more time, it's Possessed. It's a phenomenal album. It's a belter, belter of a record. It's an absolute banger. Everyone that performed on this album did an excellent, excellent job. The guitars are just fierce. The you know all the strings, you know, guitars, bass, the drums are just absolutely crushing. Everything's crushing. Jess vocals are evil and dark. And fierce, harsh, and that's what you want from an album like this. And you know, there's a lot of vocalists that can do, you know, those that great, like harshness to their vocals. But Jeff's on this album, just another, another bloody level here. Yep, and uh, just to show. The back one more time with all the guys out on the album cover. Just, just you, if you haven't heard it, you gotta to listen to it. If you haven't heard it in a long time and you got this back in the day, give it another spin. I definitely will be. Like, like I said, busy at the moment, but once I got nothing on, this is going straight on because this will always be one of my favorite releases by. Possessed. Always be one of my favourites. And if there's anyone here who hasn't heard this band, then you and if you already heard it, yeah. Um comment down below and tell me what you thought of this album. Be it a newcomer or you know, someone's brand new to possessed or someone that's been a fan since day one since this album came out or even heard them back in the demo days who knows tell me what you think because i love to hear it but once again 
this is possessed and seven churches timeless timeless masterpiece phenomenal monumental to that early days of extreme metal absolutely incredible and that is another episode of my metal vault that is another one done got four more to do on this page that i'm looking at right now and then i got a really long episode in april no no still in march right in march like pretty much nearly like near the end of march thereabouts pretty much and let me look at the page what have we got yeah so pretty much the end pretty much one of the last days of march so looking forward to that and again for anyone that has heard this album let me know what you thought did you hear it back in the day did you you did you uh overlook it for anyone that's brand new to metal and to this band to possessed and you've only heard the album what did you think the first time around did you love it did you hate it what what was what was your favorite songs of course mine being death metal seven the title track of you know seven churches pentagram the exorcist and also which what was the other one fallen angel i really like that one as well so that's it if you are brand new to this channel, then don't forget to like this video, share it around, comment down below of the things I just said. What did you think of the album? And if you also, if you've seen them live, what did you think of them live? And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything that I've got coming up on this channel. More Metal Vault episodes, favorite death metal album videos. Uh, more chats will be along the way. Just need to message a few people that I have in mind for guests. And, of course, I'm recording this Thursday. So once you watch this, it will be out on the day it comes out, which I have it written down here for Friday, tomorrow. So, but if you watch, but be released tomorrow, but you might be watching it on the actual day. But anyway... Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Jacob Jake's Metal Chat. You keep that banner of metal held high and I will see you all again in another episode of my Metal Vault.